Hello dear friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we will talk about uh, Champions Chess Tour qualifier which was played on 25th of September 2024 and today I will uh, check with the modern engines all my nine games and uh, big information is that today on 26th of September I will be playing uh, Hans Niemann. Yes, so but uh, let's start from the beginning. So you, here you see that nine rounds and a lot of uh, top very strong players uh, including Wesley so Levon Aronian, of course Vladimir Fedosiev who recently won with the black pieces against uh, Magnus Carlsen in Chess Olympiad. Uh, we see uh, many, many other uh, names like uh, Tuan Minle, Alexander Bortnik, Benjamin Bog, David Anton, Vasil Durabelli, Jose Martinez. Uh, yes, I managed to score uh, 5 points out of 9 and uh, finished on 68th place. And you know, it's uh, 3 groups, 3 divisions and uh, I will be playing my match against Hans who scored half point more than me but anyway we are in the same uh, we are uh, playing our knockout match best of uh, four games for a third division yes we can see that uh, first uh, let's say all till uh, 69th place all of them uh, qualified so they will have at least one uh, four game match for the division you see myself, Levan Pansulaya, Dmitry Kolars young uh, player from Armenia, Robert Pilipusian, Gabriel Sarkisian uh, Alexander Predke, Christopher Yu, even Fabiano Caruana, Iher Samunenko, Pavel Smirnov, Arseny Nesterov, I played him last round, Turkish player uh, Kilic, Felix Blochberger, Barat, uh, Jules Musar, I played him, Andrei Yesipenko, Svane Frederik, Ilmaz Mustafa, Maxim Chigaev, Javukir Sindarov, Sam Sevian, yes, uh, Yurik Kuzubov, Inian P, Gledura Benjamin, Wahidov Shamsidin, I apologize, Rasmus Faneb, Amin Basem, and many, many other like uh, Tuda, Alexei Sarana, Pavel Pankratov, Muralik Artikian, Thomas uh, Beardson, I played him, Andy Woodward, Altaj Safarli, Aram Hakopian. Vincent Keimer, Anton Korobov, I lost to Anton. Hans, Kirill Shevchenko, I apologize, Kirill Alexienko, David Navara, Prana B, Marin Bos um, Bosiocic, Mikhail Kobalia, Ray Robson. So I will not uh, name all the players, I just want to show you here that you can see um, uh, Division 1 placement. Uh, division 2, Division 3 and you can see the pairings uh, here for example uh, this is for Division 1 you see that uh, Wesley against Madaminov, Levon Aronian against Vasiv Durarbeli, Alexander Borting against Grigory Oparin, Tuan Minle against David Anton, Benjamin Bog against Jose Martinez and uh, Fedosev, Nepomnishi, Carlsen, Vidit and Arjun will choose their opponents. Yes. Somehow I don't see Greek Shook's name for some reason. We see Division 2. Uh, we see that Denis Lazavik, David Navara, Gata Kamski, Prana V. Alexander Indic, Marin Basiocic, Shan Sargisian against Mikhail Kovalia, Nicolas Teodoro against Ray Robson, Ludwig Makayan against Noderbeck, Jakub Borg. We see that Jaime Santos Latas, Boris Gelfand, 
Bogdan Daniel Deak, Bardia Daneshwar, Hagmar Diresian, Gadir Gusainov, they will uh, choose their opponents. And we see here Kirill Alexenko, Sergei Drigalov, Hans Niemann uh, against. I'm playing against Hans Niemann, Anton Korobov, Levan Pansulaya, Vincent Gamer, Dmitry Kolars, Aram Hakopian, Robert Pileposian, Eltar Saparli, Gabriel Sargisian, Thomas Pearson, Alexander Predke, Andy Woodward, uh, Christopher Yu, Kart Murali Kartikian, uh, Fabiano Caruana, uh, Pavel Pongratov, Ihr Samonenkov, Alexei Sarana, Pavel Smirnov. Duda against uh, Nesterov, Amin against Gilich, uh, Rasmus Svan against Felix Blowberger, Tvohidov against Barat, Gledura Musar, Inian Yesipenko, Kuzbo Frederick Svane, Semsevian, Yulmaz Mustafa, and Sindarov Chigaev. So many, many strong uh, players. It is going to be very interesting. So after now I'm recording this video at uh, 4.20 p.m. Yerevan time and after less than three hours my match will start against Hans Niemann. Let's start checking my games. Let's see what I have done yesterday. Was I playing? Yes, my first round opponent was uh, GM Grigor, uh, uh, Grigor uh, Sevak Mekhitaryan. Uh, he's from Brazil, but he has Armenian roots. And uh, I think earlier we played uh, in one of previous uh, qualifiers and I lost. So. And knight b8. Sveshnikov knight b8 here, a4, uh, bishop e7, and uh, I think I mixed up uh, something and uh, bishop e2, short castle, short castle, and then uh, I guess somewhere before, but here I went a5, uh, a6, uh, knight a3 doesn't work because of queen a5, knight c3. We see. Yes, uh, short castle is fine. I played bishop e2. My opponent played knight d7. Yes, f5, short castle knight d7, or knight d7, short castle f5. Bishop f5 maybe also is interesting with the idea to go knight d7. Yes, knight d7, I went short castle and f5. Yes, here we see that engine uh, likes going f3, stopping e4. I played before with the idea to go knight a4. Yes, e4 I played knight a4 and here already f4. f4 and black is uh, better. Yes, bishop f6 I played rook a3. Bishop e5 and here f4 or f3, stopping. I played c4 and f4. Position is already lost. I played f3, e3. I went c5 and queen g5 or rook f6, I pushed and rook h6. You know, he is just sacrificing, c takes d, he wanted to to just take bishop d7, I guess. Yes, bishop d7 and now queen h4 is very unpleasant threat. I played queen e1 and here queen g5. Yes, queen g5, he played this and uh, I went g4, f takes g, I played f4. Yes, I'm completely lost, bishop d4 for example. But, you know, not uh, not very simple decision to go. He took and now this is uh, lost. So this is like very uh, c5, queen g5, rook f6. Uh, he found this idea going rook h6 and then queen h4. So I play c6, uh, rook h6 and queen e1 to stop queen h4. And here queen g5, I, I went g4, I didn't see bishop e3. And surprisingly here bishop d4 and game is over. So take take, this is already winning for white. And again, this is lost. Bishop h3. And this is already winning, of course. I just take. Wait, wait, wait. Oops. I apologize for some reason. Yes, rook e3. Bishop f3, stopping all checks along uh, 
A8, H1 diagonal. Even this, rook e7 is coming, and after rook e7, my opponent resigned. Uh, I should say that uh, already somewhere here he was having uh, already some seconds. I should uh, remind you that time control is 10 minutes plus 2 seconds increment. Yes, let's move uh, to other games. Uh, my second round opponent was uh, Gleb Dudin from Hungary. Yes, bishop b5, bishop a4, I went uh, knight f6, short castle here, knight d4 is possible, but I guess white is getting after uh, rook e1, yes, you can see that. Yes, e6, uh, I played a6, c4, and uh, I played g6, so knight c3, bishop g7, yes, d3, I went short castle, and h3. Stopping maybe some knight g4 ideas. And this is already being slightly better for white. I played b6 with the idea to go bishop b7. So bishop e3, I played bishop b7, queen d2. I played e6. Yes, white is being better. This I played queen c7. Rook here. I could go knight e5. I played this. Rook b1, I played bishop c6, c2, he pushed b4, not much is really happening. Yes, knight f6, knight g3, I think somewhere here my opponent went d4, yes. You see that white is being tiny better, he played d4. And now he's threatening b5, you know. I didn't play knight e5 because of b5, you know. I saw that knight c4 is hanging, but after queen e2 I didn't understand. Yes, yeah, just going rook e8. I played this, attacking the other pawn. And this was my idea. But we see that it doesn't really work. c takes, c takes, b5. And knight is getting c6 square. So takes, takes. My opponent played this, rook a8. I played this, queen f3, queen d1 was stronger, and then c5 simply. Because now I'm getting this idea. b5, a takes b, yes, he could. And he took knight e4, knight c6, knight d2. This I saw, queen f4, knight b1, knight e5. So he took, I took here, this, yes. Uh, now if knight c6, I guess I go rook c5, rook f5. I played a strange move, threatening bishop h6. This should be already much better for me. And rook h to e5. Yes, I played this. And now e4, but opponent didn't see. And rook e3, of course, rook e3 just takes. And then rook takes and h3 is hanging. I played this. Uh, I played queen e7, but rook b2 he found. And didn't see it, bishop c5. Yes, I played this and after this. No, it's not d4, maybe this is also winning, but rook d8. I was so winning. And of course this is simply nothing. Yes, I decided to trade my bishop with the knight because knight was already ready to jump. And we repeat it. So first game I was lost and second game I was uh, I was better winning. Let's continue. I think so far this was uh, fine. Gioco piano h6 stopping bishop g5 rook e1. Yes, many setups are possible. A5 a6. Short castle I played this. A5 knight bd2. Yes, bishop this, this, and uh, yes, I know that uh, bishop a7 move is possible, bishop b6 as well, so my opponent played this, I went knight f1, queen a7, and I played this d4, he takes bishop c6, yes, here d takes is possible, bishop a2, bishop f2, king goes somewhere like uh, uh, h2 or h1, h2. 
So b takes c, here I could take c takes b, but bishop b4. I did not understand also what is happening. Uh, like where should I? Rook e2, not rook e3. Rook e2, and if d5, you go e5, knight e4, bishop e3. That's why here maybe a4. And bishop b6 is being another move. I took here. Mm. And it uh, seems like d5 isn't really working. I just go e5 uh, and then f3. So bishop d7, I'm playing uh, uh, Andrei uh, Drigalov uh, from Russia. Knight g3 I played, uh, rook f8, bishop f4. And uh, already I like my position. My ideas are very obvious, just playing queen d2, rook d one So this, queen d2, he went here, I played rook d1. And I guess this is already e5 and bishop d4, queen d4, and bishop h6, yes. And bishop takes g7, and knight f5 check. Yes, more or less I played uh, fine, and this was against, uh, I'm playing white against uh, Jules Musar. Yes, I decided to play something new, c4, and we anyway caught this position, and d3. This recently has been uh, tried by Jordan Van Forest and uh, Karana. Karana played against uh, uh, Giri. Of course, many moves are possible. C5 and uh, yes, here you can take C takes D, E takes D, D4, but Black is getting tempo up uh, Tarash, uh, so I played Knight E5. This was um, uh, Karana's game, if I'm not mistaken, just Karana Giri, yes. And we see knight b7, knight d7, bishop d7. So the main point is being you stop uh, knight c6 ideas and then somewhere you go knight c3, 4 You see that uh, many moves are possible. e6, queen c7, queen d6. My opponent played this. I decided to start with knight c3, bishop d7, and d4. You see that after d4, opponent doesn't have problems, or bishop d6. So d takes c, I took with the d pawn. Knight of d7 is fine, this. I played some f4. Yes, knight c6, I took. And this is being already a better position, of course. And, uh, yes, I played g4, uh, queen b7, I played this. And, yes, I could go, like, b3 also. I played f5. Yes, and in this position I did not understand or did not... f takes, f takes, bishop h3, of course. Or g6, h takes, bishop g5, but... So I played a very bad move, because this allows simply this. And bishop g2 and takes and bishop takes f4 and rook d2. Yes, rook f2 I didn't like because takes takes uh, and knight d6. Yes, I'm just rook d1, rook d7. I played this with the idea of rook b2, then uh, rook d1. So this was my point. And uh, yes, rook c2 I wanted to go rook f3. Yes. Knight c7 I think this is just rook d8 would have been stronger. And now again I'm better, but I managed to get unpleasant position again. Yes, I saw rook e4, but I didn't like rook d3 check. So this, g6, this, this, I, I went and knight g4 I didn't see, and this is already an unpleasant position. I played something like this, check, knight f6 back, I took there. I played king f3, knight e4, rook d5, king g3. Yes, rook h3 maybe. Yes, black is tiny better. But even, uh, I, was, I was very low on clock. Yes, you can see that king f5 and black is getting some chances. King e5, but he allowed this, and this should be very drawish. Yes, I'm in time with this b4 and, and check, and this. This was, of course, enough to, to achieve a draw. So draw against uh, Jules Musar. Another game uh, 
I had black pieces against uh, uh, Vasquez uh, Schroeder uh, from Chile. Sorry if I'm pronouncing the country not correctly. So this, this I decided instead of going for uh, neither to play something new and it worked. I should say that this position earlier I had against Andrei Yesipenko in a classical game. Andrei played rook d1 after queen e7, queen d3, so c4. Yeah, c5, otherwise, uh, like, bishop d6 was interesting, I was thinking about, because queen g7, if you take, I guess, I'm very active with queen h4, yes, I'm winning. Yes, but knight c3. So I played c5, queen e3, I went before, and black is already being better, so bishop a4, I played this, rook d1, I sacrificed, I went queen a5, I played, uh, I could go bishop c6, but I played this, rook d1, and here I did not uh, understand uh, a5, bishop f6, bishop d6, yes, maybe with the f5 idea, ideas would have been uh, stronger. I played knight e5 attacking the pawn, I played bishop f6, yes, engine doesn't like this, queen g3 and white is better, I played rook d8, I played some rook e8, some a5, knight c6, knight e4, yes, takes, 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 rook e2, and uh, very soon game ended in a draw uh, against uh, Maxim Lagarde. Bishop d3 was the strongest move, knight c6, bishop e3. And here uh, I played, uh, yes, I played g6. Yes, knight g4 I know, knight takes, so I played g6, h3, stopping knight g4, and here c4. I played knight g4, takes bishop d4, takes take this. And already I played this position once against uh, Sindarov, so e5, bishop e6. I was aware of that idea. Uh, but also I knew that uh, queen a5 move is very much possible and you stop queen d2 because knight b3 is working. So f3, I played some bishop e6. And we see rook c1. Yes, maybe long castle. I played this and queen d2. I think this is already quite unpleasant position for black. Knight d5, queen a2, there is bishop b1. So I took, um, I took here. Yes, I guess he takes d would have been much stronger. Takes, takes, and I played king d7. King e3, I played e5, and here, yes, I think d takes e, knight takes e6, maybe g takes h, because this, uh, rook c8, but rook c3, I played rook f8, f4, f6, takes, 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 rook c1, and here, uh, it's not much, tiny better for black, I played this, yes, I could go rook f4, but I did not. I played this. Yes, but the engine says it's like being... By, but I simply did not see how, how to uh, make any progress because if I push my g4 pawn, g5 pawn, then I'm losing h4. And if I go rook g4, there is king f2, and simply, but engine says a5, a5 of course, a5 just stopping all this before a4, a5, and then so I played this and b4, like b6 and a5, of course. We see this is. Uh, clearly in white's favor. And uh, 
And here, this was a disaster against Anton Korobov. I had uh, four points out of six. And as you noticed, against Vasquez Schroeder or against uh, uh, Maxim Lagarde, um, I, I had good chances. So this was and Queen D2. And here, I think something I mixed up. So Bishop D3, of course, like I took. And b5. And here, I, 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 for some reason, I played queen f2. I, I saw this, but didn't understand what I'm... Oh, oh, like... I knew that queen f2 is one of the main ideas to play. But for some reason, uh, I thought uh, b4 is coming. And bishop c5, b takes c. And uh, knight e2, there is knight e4. I saw knight d5, but I thought uh, e takes the bishop c5, knight e4 is coming, but I forgot about knight f6. And because of this I played bishop d3 and I'm already in trouble. Of course queen f2, but after knight a4 you see black is anyway getting some. So I played this, I took, and uh, knight a4 of course, no doubt knight a4 would have been much stronger. This, this, and a5. Black is very quick, very fast, and... I don't have anything and it's so hard for white to create any counterplay and maybe f5 would have been better move uh, bishop e3 queen e1 like this maybe bishop e3 queen e1 e takes f because this g6 just kills yes and i was panicking already i played h4 and then blundered uh, that queen e1 there is bishop f2 Yes, I pushed already h5, but this is completely lost. Couple of precise moves, and uh, this is lost, of course, completely lost. Yeah, queen d6 is the only move, but. And knight g4, and queen c5, stopping queen a7. So Anton Korobov crushed me because uh, I played uh, very, very. Uh, passive and very bad game. So next game uh, with the black pieces against uh, Thomas uh, Birtsen. Uh, it was a3. Here e5 is another option. I played g6. Mm, bishop e3. Maybe f3 would have been stronger. Mm, but uh, I did not play knight g4. Uh, I wanted to play the position or the line which uh, recently uh, Daniel Dubov played against uh, Yevgeny Nair. So b5, queen d2, and here I should have gone for bishop b7, no doubts. I played h5, stopping bishop h6, but no a4. So this is very unpleasant. Before I thought knight d5 is also working, no? Or knight a2. So I took, but this is very unpleasant position. Bishop, bishop e2 was also fine, short castle. Yeah, because now knight b6 ideas are there. And here I could go d5. But I did not see it. Yes, I, I was playing some... White is being better. Not much is happening. Rook a4 stopping knight c4. If I would play knight b6, engine likes going knight b6, you know. I played queen d7, threatening some rook c3, rook a1. Uh, rook c3 in the end, bishop f7 will come. Slowly I was getting some... No, it's hard to say I was getting anything. Knight fd7, knight c5, I took here. Yes, I like my position. Mm, yes, knight c4 would have been much stronger because later on you will see what I allowed to my opponent. d5, I did not really see it uh, at this uh, moment. f4, there is knight g4 and e5. Uh, that's why opponent played h3 to go f4, f6 to stop. Yes, f4, knight c4 was my point. Queen f7. And again, bishop h6 with some f5 ideas, eventually f5, rook d7, 
Yes, F takes C, I played this and another blunder, which is this. And B3. And uh, F4. Yes, takes. Knight B5 was there and he found it. Yes, he had knight d6, knight f4 was also there. This is winning. Takes, takes, takes. And bishop d4. Takes, takes, rook d8. My opponent played this, queen e7. And I took, and rook c1, and somehow managed to make a draw. Yes, it was very uh, unbalanced uh, game. I was better, maybe much better, close to a huge advantage, and my opponent had uh, winning position, so it was uh, very unbalanced uh, game. So last round, so again I decided to stick c4 and d4. He goes uh, d4, we see Short castle c5, uh, yes, one idea is d3, another is e3, but I guess even after d3 you should uh, stick uh, at some point e3. So e3, knight c6, uh, takes, uh, takes d3. Yes, I knew, uh, I knew bishop uh, d6 move, so bishop c5, bishop g5, uh, h6, bishop f6, and here you don't take with the queen, you take g takes f. And... Uh, on uh, Tuesday, I played uh, title Tuesday and uh, played this position and uh, won it, won the game. Uh, so rook e1, uh, king f8, so knight bd2, h5, uh, I played a3, a5 of course, and I tried this. I went knight d6, yes, but this is already unpleasant, because h4 is coming. Surprisingly, black manages to open up h-file and even get some attack, you will see later on. Yes, queen d2, maybe getting queen on f4, and the problem is, uh, if you go somewhere knight d5, knight d5, rook e5, always after h takes, h takes, bishop c6 ideas are possible. So this bishop e8, nice move, and I was in huge trouble already. I was thinking about f6 and maybe some queen h7 ideas. Yes, I took. I found this. And king f1, because if I take queen a8, I didn't like uh, queen h3, I guess, yes, queen h3. So I played this, rook a7, queen b6, takes, takes, f6, queen c5, rook g1, somehow... We both uh, found so many good moves, and this, yes, my initial idea was to go this, but bishop g6 and you can resign. <laughs> no way, convenient way to protect the pawn on d3. So I played this and uh, this followed. Yes, dear friends, uh, uh, use, uh, we together checked all my nine games uh, I scored five points let's say Arsenin Nesterov he has close to 2600 maybe even more than 2600 uh, but uh, yes I was playing him last round having only four and a half points out of eight and overall I like these tournaments uh, you are playing you have opportunity to play very good uh, players. Uh, I'm not only mm, uh, saying about uh, like top uh, GMs, just uh, for training for uh, to get uh, to try to get some form. I think this is like a very nice opportunity for all of us and uh, I even didn't manage to to have uh, this opportunity to play today against Hans Niemann. So please leave your uh, comments. Uh, what do you think? Uh, of course, he is being the huge uh, favorite. 
because uh, he recently won against Anish Giri, against Nikita Vitugov, against Vidit, uh, against Etienne Bakro in different formats. Uh, and uh, I can say that earlier in classical chess, uh, I managed to win with the black pieces and one game uh, withdrew. But uh, in online chess, once in a rapid game, he, he won. But of course it was uh, two years ago, last time we faced each other, so it is going to be very interesting. Anyway, I'm hoping to get uh, some experience uh, by facing Hans and I will try to do my best to see what will follow, what will happen. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like this format, please uh, leave your uh, comments or wishes. Thank you very much.